Anyway, talking about prudent things, what Kyle. Oh. Uh, we're talking about the Bible. And I know Tucker isn't saved, so Damn it, hopefully this compels him. So today I'm, I'm going to tell yeah. the story of Samson. My now, mom loves this Samson segment. is Samson uh, is an Old Testament figure. And most people think, ah, I know Samson, can't cut your hair, gets with Delilah, nay, nay. They don't know the whole story of Samson. And Strong man. It's, it's longer, but there aren't necessarily more lessons. You've got to look for them. So it begins in the prequel stage of Samson, you know, going to his parents. So as with many things for the Jews, they did something that pissed God off, and God said, fuck you, you're going out of my presence again, go be slaves to some other people. And so there's some time into that, all the, the Israel, Israelites and Jews are really upset and just waiting for that next judge or prophet to come down and pull them out of this, this muck. And so one day, this guy named, the fuck was his name, Manoah, we're going to call him Meno from now on for short, uh, Mano and his wife were just a random, poor couple. A couple of Jews, very poor Israelites. And one day an angel came down in angel form to Mano's wife and said, Hey, you're about to give birth to someone who's going to totally change the direction of this tribe. And she's like, Oh, that's awesome. And he's, he says, Yeah, yeah, it is. Now all you got to do is make sure you don't smoke, don't drink, don't eat any grapes, nothing fermented, no uh, mixed fabrics. You know, you're, you're a Jew. You know the rules. She Shelters. goes, yeah, I know. I, I got it all planned out. Uh, just don't do any of that, and then you'll have a son, and he's going to do some fantastic things. Angel poof, poofs away. She goes back to her husband, Mano, and is like, you will not believe what happened. And I'm going to read in the NIV Bible, the New International Version. This is exactly what she says, and I'm going to say it in Trump's voice because it makes sense. A man of God came to me. He looked like an angel of God. Very awesome. <laughs> <laughs> that's, that's what she said in the Bible. She goes up, says it was very awesome, and the husband goes, oh my God, so all you got to do is like not drink or smoke or anything, and then he, this kid's going to come out good? She goes, yeah. He goes, all right, well, like, what do we do afterward? Like, when the kid's here, how do we raise him then? She goes, oh, I didn't ask him that. Shit. Like, should we call him back? It's like an angel. You can't call him back. <laughs> and so he, he goes to the temple, prays, and goes, please send someone else here and tell us how to raise the kid. Like, we get it. Don't make a little fetal alcohol syndrome baby. But after he's born, how do we make sure he becomes a good dude and, and does all the things you want? And so a few days later, a man, regular old looking man, really an angel, comes down the road, talks to Mano, goes, hey, you know, the Lord pushed me to, to come to you and tell you that all you have to do for your child is make sure that a razor never touches his head or any part of his body. A razor is in like shaving, you know, removing hair. Uh, and also make sure that your wife abides by all those rules I said before. And he was like, okay, yeah, that, it's not that helpful, but you are just a guy. You're not an angel, so I guess this is how God wants me to figure it out. Okay, whatever. He doesn't know this guy's an angel. He goes, well, at the very least, let me be hospitable. Stay with me for dinner. And the angel, who's not letting on, goes, no, I don't want to stay for dinner. He goes, I insist. You must stay for dinner. And the angel goes, if you're going to, or I'll, I'll, I have a goat. We'll kill the goat, and we'll eat it together. He goes, I'm not going to stay for dinner, but if I do stay, as you're asking me, take that goat and sacrifice it to the Lord. And Mano is like, oh, uh, oh yeah, like, like this goat, this, like my only goat. You want me to burn my own? Do you look around? Do you th we don't have a lot of goats. We've got one <laughs> goat. This is our food for the next month. Can't be fiddle like, fucking you, our goats to death. Yeah, no, we, we have one goat. Like I was planning on eating this for a while, but yeah, I, I guess I'll just burn it. I'll just burn it for God. Because you're telling me to. Have you have you looked around my house? Have you have you looked around my one bedroom dirt floor thatched roof house? Do you smell salmon in here? We don't have any fish. That's my wife's bronze age pussy you're smelling. It's horrible in here. We have nothing to eat, and you're asking me to sacrifice this goat and burn it to you. And so he goes, he burns the goat begrudgingly. And he also burns some grain with it because the Lord is notorious for needing a side. And, <laughs> and uh, after all that is burned, uh the, the guy just leaves. They're hungry. And nine months later, out pops Happy Samson, ready to, to take on the world. And as with most Bible stories, it doesn't talk about the childhood. It goes straight to the adulthood of the character. So now we're like early 20s, like pussy slaying Samson. Like he's he's got long hair like a rock star. And so he's, he's troll. Oh, he's Fab. Perfect. He's <laughs> Fabio. Picture him like that. A little more matted and nasty. And and a beard because you can't, you can't shave anywhere. And hey, so... You. He is <laughs> and no Jew. manscaping. Yeah. yeah, and so he is oh, God. <laughs> he's trolling around this city of Timna looking for strange. And he comes <laughs> across this lady 
and he's totally infatuated with her. He fucking loves her. And so he goes, but she's a Philistine. That's the problem. She's not Jewish. She's a, a Philistine. And they are very much in competition with each other right now, these two tribes. And the Philistines are much stronger and larger. And so it's not uh, something you want to tango with. And so he goes back to his family and he goes, hey, I found this woman. I want her as my wife. So I need you to go there and get her for me. Because that was back when women were treated appropriately as property instead of like having to pretend to care about what they say. And so <laughs> now they go, uh, the dad goes, Oy vey, son, you're going to go and find someone who's not Jewish? My goodness. No, there's plenty of good women right around here. Look at Rachel. And he goes, Rachel, she looks like, looks like a fucking sundial with that schnoz. No, I'm not going for Rachel. I'm going for that Philistine woman, that sexy bitch right over there. And so the dad goes, okay. Yeah, I'm, I'm, I'll back that. They all, uh, he goes back to the family on the way, uh, goes back to the woman's family he's interested in in order to relay to her that, all right, wedding's on. And on the way, he's by himself. A lion leaps out of the brush, comes to attack him. The Lord imbues him with, you know, that strength that he has from his hair, and he tears the lion apart, like, with the, like the way you would a goat, was the example in the Bible, <laughs> which apparently is like, you ready for goat? <laughs> no and so he tore the lion apart <laughs> left it there and miraculously like if i killed a lion that would be in my tinder bio that would be in my twitter <laughs> bio that would be my permanent facebook status it would be on my on my resume everyone would know he didn't tell anyone and it was weird because he was a braggadocious fella and he continues on tells his woman hey wedding's on i got to go back to my people grab my posse my friend's family and then we'll meet you back here have the whole shindig so he heads back, grabs his family, and as they're moving back towards, towards the wedding party, which is the Phil they're going to the, the woman's place in Philistine, the Philistinian territory, I don't know what it would be called. And on the way back, they see that same lion carcass. And the lion carcass is de decomposed a bit. And there are bees swarming all around it. And so Samson, in what it can only be described as a, an insane person's maneuver, <laughs> goes over to the hollowed out carcass of this lion where the bees are, dips his hands into the carcass and retrieves two big old handfuls of honey. And so the rest of the walk there, uh, he's eating honey out of his hands <laughs> on, the way, on the way to his own wedding. And to set the stage, <laughs> this is a man who lives in the year one who has never showered. He has never been allowed to cut a hair from his head. And he's eating honey out of his hands on the way to his wedding. This is, there's never been a stickier human being in history <laughs> than Samson on this walk. It's like, it's not bad enough that you have, I live 500 years before Christ shits every day. You're going to eat two handfuls of honey on the way to your wedding, you goddamn maniac. And so, and so he eats his honey. It's disgusting and sticky uh, by the time he, he gets there. They get there, though, and it goes off without a hitch for the most part. Like, uh, the dad, Samson's dad was, like, pissed because he was like, you're going to associate with these uncircumcised folks? Mm -hmm. But Samson, like, convinced him. He's like, dad... Believe it or not, it never crossed the minds of these savages to bring a sharp stone to the genitals of, of young boys. It's like, oh, that's, that's horrific. It's terrible. <laughs> it's like, oh, I'll get over it, you know. And so they get over it, and they have the wedding. It's a nice little occasion. And after the wedding, after the wedding, uh, they're all sitting around in a powwow. And Samson goes to the, the, the relatives of his wife, the Philistines, and goes, hey, I'll tell you, I'll tell you a riddle. And if you can riddle me that, I'll give you 30 outfits of linen. If you can't figure it out, though, you got to give me 30 outfits of linen. And they're like, oh, seems like a pretty reasonable thing. All right, let's do it. <laughs> and so he tells the riddle of, and I read it, out of the eater, something to eat. Out of the strong, something sweet. Now, obviously, this was him talking about out of the eater, the lion, Honey comes, that's sweet, and out of the lion, something strong, you know, something sweet, like that, that kind of shit. But it's cheating. You can't make a riddle based on an experience that only you know about and then expect people to understand. Like, that's like the, the self-actualization of a two-year-old, hmm. where you think if you saw something, everybody's seen it. And everybody will get it. Like that's that's retardation. So my contention is that he was cheating. <laughs> okay. And yeah. He he was cheating from the start. Is my contention. Samson was. He was giving an un a riddle in bad faith. It's like playing peekaboo and covering your own eyes. Yeah. It's like, hey, Woody, I've got an interesting riddle about my seventh grade birthday party. <laughs> 
Now, you know, no one needs the details or the, you know, the tendrils going out that'll give you hints. Like, it's, it's not fair. And so he gives this riddle, and nobody can figure it out because they weren't there. And so, like, two days later, the family of the woman go, hey, you got to get this fucking riddle because I don't know if you've looked around, but we're not exactly running a fucking courtyard Marriott. We don't have linen to hand out. Like, we, we're, we, we took this assuming we'd know the riddle. We're pretty good riddlers, but we don't have any linen. We're going to be humiliated and, and embarrassed, and we're not really on friendly terms with the rest of their tribe, just this family now. And so she goes, okay, I'll go do it. And so for the next five days, she, the, the word nag is used in the Bible. She nags and cries and bitches for so many days in a row that eventually Samson on the last day goes, yeah, okay, okay, the answer is the lion. The answer is the lion and honey inside it, Okay. Please, oh my God, week one, week one of our, of our marriage. Golly, I should have listened to my parents, you dumb whore. And he's furious. And 20 minutes later, she, she leaves. 20 minutes later, all the Philistines come back, and they're like, uh, Samson, we figured out your riddle. And he's like, oh, did you? Did you now? Did you figure out my riddle? What is it? And so they told, they told him, what is sweeter than honey? What is stronger than lion? Which apparently was the two questions that aren't a riddle, or the answer to a riddle that was two questions that weren't... Nah. The, it's Jeopardy. These ancient people didn't understand what riddles were. <laughs> <laughs> he, he answered the question. Anyway. Yeah. And so they give him that, and he goes, cheated. You cheated. I just gave my wife that answer, and she went and gave it to you. And so Samson stood up calmly, and then he murdered 30 people. <laughs> 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 With his bare hands, he went around the camp, and he murdered 30 people, and then he left, saying, someday I'll get my vengeance. <laughs> <laughs> so at this point, okay. Samson right. is a terrorist at this point. <laughs> you know, he does not take kindly to those other folks. And so from there, he uh Samson is Jewish. Home. He killed the terrorists. Correction. Yeah. He, he spends some time, like, mulling his own shit over in the desert or whatever while everybody else goes back. Uh, he eventually returns home and goes to his dad. Hey, I want to I talk to my wife. He goes, your, your wife? That Philistine woman who, who lied to you and you killed 30 of her family members? No, and when I was leaving, I said I gave her to someone else. Like, no, that's not your, that's not your wife anymore. And Samson goes, God, fucking bullshit. Well, then I, then I definitely need to get my vengeance. You know, she's, she's de dead to me. And so he does what any sane person would do. He's got to get vengeance on these <laughs> Philistines. They're stronger. They're more powerful. What do you do? What you do is you go into the woods and you catch 300 foxes. <laughs> 300 foxes. Have you ever tried to catch one fox? <laughs> It's fucking impossible. You're not going to catch 300 foxes. It's insanity. And so he catches 300 foxes. And then he does another sane thing. He takes them two by two and ties their tails together. And then once he has 150 paired off, <laughs> paired off fox pairings, you know, very hard to manage. I said you so now. <laughs> he puts torches in the night and ties those into the tails and lights them and releases them all over Philistine territory and all of their crops. And so the next morning when they wake up, they're like, there's a lot of burned foxes and no crops <laughs> left. And there's a torch in all the foxes tails. And this is very methodically done. A serial killer is in our midst. Is this that terrorist Samson? Is this that terrorist Samson that we're all so scared of all the time with the strength of 10 men and the temperament of a one-year-old? Like, <laughs> is this the man? And so they're terrified of Samson because he just destroyed everything. And so the Philistines go back and they go, uh, they, they go to the woman that uh, he initially married, the Philistine woman and her father, and they're so mad they just burn them too, probably with the last remaining pair of foxes running around. And they burn those two to death. And then... Uh, I'm trying to remember what happened here, sorry. <laughs> it's so in-depth. <laughs> oh, a yeah! Better... I remember. No, no, no. <laughs> Now, yeah, you couldn't just throw torches. No, he had to tie You wouldn't want to throw a torch when you could swing two foxes around like a <laughs> madman and hurl them. But, uh, and after he did this, after he did all the fox shenanigans, he went and re retreated into a cave in the wilderness and just ah. hung out there. And so after that, all the Philistines, like a few thousand of them, are like, this is horse shit. We are marching to the Jewish camp uh, of Judea. 
and we're going to make them give us Samson. So they march over there, and they go, uh, where the fuck is Samson? He just tied a bunch of uh, hundreds of hundreds of foxes together and burned <laughs> our crops down after killing 30 of us for, for uh, cheating on a cheat riddle of his. Mm -hmm. And they go, we don't know where he is. Frankly, we'd be happy if you caught him. He's causing a lot of mischief, <laughs> and he's not reflecting well. He's terrible PR. We're a very small tribe, and he's causing a lot of mischief out there, mm -hmm. and people keep coming up to us. And they go, okay, well, we believe you. We're going to search anyway. They search. They go, all right, we totally believe you, but we're way stronger than you. So while we're here, we're just going to conquer you. And they're like, ah, fuck, we should have seen that coming. And so they got conquered right there too. And so then a thousand Jews from Judea go to that cave and they go to Samson and they go, we got to turn you in. And Samson's like, you couldn't turn me in if you wanted to, but here, how about this? You tie me up and you bring me back there to those thousands of, uh, of guys. And you say, we got him. We got the guy for you. He's right here. And then I'll burst out of there. And then they go, yo, dude, that's an incredible idea. And then like, then like Noah, you can throw him a sword. And Ezekiel, you can throw him a shield. And, uh, and uh, Samson goes, no, no. <laughs> I'll use the jaw of an ass. <laughs> and, then, <laughs> and then they all go, yeah, 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 yeah whatever, whatever you want to do, man. Just uh, just remember, like, we're on your team. And he goes, yeah, job and ass. This is a good idea. <laughs> and so they, they take him over there, bound up, and they get him close enough to the Philistines, and they go, here he is. And he gets close, and he bursts out with his ass bone jaw <laughs> and smashes a thousand of them to death. A thousand people he murders with the jawbone of an ass. <laughs> well, he was right. A thousand. Yeah. yeah and, and as they're watching it, Ezekiel's like, well, we appear quite the fools. <laughs> he, he really didn't need the sword and shield. And so after he's finished massacring a thousand people dripping with blood, not like in movies like Braveheart or Predator, where there's like drips of their own blood a little bit. I mean like half a second after you get out of the pool, that level of drippage in blood, there's a snail trail of all blood types smeared around this land. And he comes back up to them. <laughs> and, and all the Jews are like, Frankly, Samson, half an hour ago, we were ready to turn you in. Never before has there been such a political turn in an environment. Raise your hand if you don't want Samson to be in charge. Everyone <laughs> wants you to be in charge, Samson. And so <laughs> Samson, dripping with blood, decides he's going to be in charge. And so after that, though, he decides he needs a little more, just a touch more vengeance. <laughs> like Jesus Christ! <laughs> <laughs> oh, they didn't even cheat on a riddle for fuck's sake. It's, it's, <laughs> <laughs> Dude, that's all throughout the Old Testament. They'll be like, ah, and someone of the Ammonites stole a goat. And the, you know, the Jewish uh, Old Testament God is like, and he smout 50,000 of them for it. <laughs> and it's, like, it's insane. But it now gets to the point that people are more familiar with. Samson and Delilah. So a little more time passes, and he falls head over heels for this lady Delilah, and she's a fox. Like they were like back in the day, they were like they were the Brangelina of the day, and so it wasn't oh, like shit. a relationship. Everybody fucking knew Samson was plugging Delilah, and so the Philistines go to Delilah and are like, "Hey, you got to give us info on how he gets his strength, because we got to get rid of this." The Phyllis, we're rightly looking for vengeance here. We've lost thousands of people to this madman. Look at that. We don't know where he is. We're whispering right now. He's terrifying. Like, and so they, they basically convince her to be on like a little secret agent. And so she goes to him one night after they bang. And she goes, Samson, what gives you all your strength? And he goes, well, if they'd only known to tie my hands with seven unused bowstrings, they would have never had that problem. I would have been as weak as any other man. And so during the night, she tied his hands with four unused oh, bowstrings, no. woke up to, or seven, I'm sorry, seven unused bowstrings, and the Philistines are there waiting, ready, anticipating picking him up, and he wakes up, bursts out, and murders a dozen or so of them, <laughs> you know, this time in self-defense, fair enough. Yeah. And then I guess they go back to bed being like, why I oughta, you know, to Delilah. <laughs> and then the next day, he tells her this rinse and repeat, you know, why, why would you lie to me last night? And he doesn't ask, why'd you try to have me murdered and captured? He just goes with it because he's an idiot. And he goes, all right, well, if you use, like, brand new rope, that'll get me. I, 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 they've only ever used used rope on me. That's why I can burst out. And so they do that. 
once again bursts out, and the twelve, anticipating and terrified Philistines, are <laughs> <murdered. laughs> like, we know what happens here, guys. We didn't want to be here. Oh, we're group two. It's always group three or four that gets them. Like in this. <laughs> we, we we saw what you did just now. I don't. <laughs> oh. The bodies are still here. <laughs> <laughs> Samson, I told you to move them. <laughs> and so he murders all of them. Then I guess Delilah once again gets off scot-free. The next day he tells her, if you braid my hair in this way, I'll, I'll be helpless. So she does that. The third group of a dozen or so Philistines stand up. He's like, I'm not even tied up this time. Wah, 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 wah. And it beats the shit out of him, kills him. And then finally, she badgers him enough that he goes, my hair, my hair is the source of my strength. If you cut it off, I got nothing. Jesus Christ, will you shut the fuck up? <laughs> like, the, he's, Samson has terrible choice in women, uh, but it's good to see some things never change. Mm. So uh, the next day, he's sleeping, or next night evening, or next evening, he's sleeping. She snips his hair off. Then the Philistines come in, and he stands up to fight him, and he's just a normal dude now. He doesn't have his superpowers. God said, I'm only interested in lo- lustrous locks. You know, I, that's all I'm in for. Mm-hmm. And so they come in, they pin him down, they immediately gouge his eyes out and blind him, and so he can't be a threat anymore. And then they drag him off and they give Delilah all sorts of sweets and spoils. And so then they take him blind and beaten in a regular man, and they put him on a grain mill where you're just wa- like what they would use donkeys for. Like you're just pushing this thing around and around and around. And he does that for months. And I guess everybody forgot. Mm-hmm. Let's give this guy regular haircuts. <laughs> <laughs> Because a couple months later, there's a big Philistine celebration, much similar to when we caught Bin Laden. <laughs> like, <laughs> like, like everybody's like, yeah, we got him, we got him, yeah. Like, they're all in this big, beautiful building, all the Philistines. There's 3,000 people on the roof and all the elites underneath. And they say, bring out Samson, bring him out, bring out this murderer, this murderer. And they're jeering at him because everyone there has someone they know who's been murdered by this animal. And mm-hmm. they put him up there, they throw stuff at him, and they go, Gah, get out of here, and he collapses. You know, his hair's gotten a little longer, though. And he stands up, still blind, and he goes, please, let me lean up against a pillar. And so they put him up against a pillar to lean there. And he summons God and says, God, with my last act, please let me bring this down upon the Philistines. And so he puts one hand on one pillar, one hand on the other, and he uses his last bit of strength and collapses it, and murders another 5,000 Philistines <laughs> with his final breath. <laughs> well, and this is the story that I use to guide my entire life. <laughs> In the words of Kyle. Yeah. <laughs> Seems just. Yeah. Now, Tucker first, wasn't first, a believer before that story. No, but now, the first five minutes of that story, I was like, I'm bored. And then it just, Samson, you know, he really just kept going, huh? See, I wonder... I wonder if after about 7,000 murders, if he felt like he had gotten revenge for them no, cheating on the riddle yet. <laughs> I can't believe somebody would cheat on this wit- riddle. <laughs> yeah, if there, was ever a, uh, if there was ever a time to think, man, the Bible is, what a wonderful story that could be animated and made into. Yeah. It's now. I want to yeah. see an animated yeah, Bible animated. series. That and Joe. I'm pretty sure it was. Oh, was it? It was oh, a movie, sure. a live action movie. I saw it. I don't want a live action. I don't remember want, quite like I want, that. I want old well, sorry, Testament that one took animations. so long, but I no, wanted to start from the birth. <laughs> you made up for it. You made up for it. It really came to fruition. I enjoyed oh, it. Thank you. And I hope you learned something. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, I knew Samson is strong ass dude and killed a lot of people, but I, I was unaware that he literally slaughtered thousands of people with the jaw of an ass, which not, is yeah. just not like out of all of the weapons that you could kill people with. That's a like you would, wouldn't you get tired around 200, 250? You're like, damn, I got 750 more of these. Yeah, it wasn't brain. just physical strength. It was like that hair was given cardio points for sure. Oh, yeah. I mean, uh, 100%. I don't know what life lesson I'm supposed to take from that, but my wife cheated in Uno one time, and I feel like I've got some killing to do. Kill her family! <laughs> but did you murder all of her Facebook friends? Yeah, that's I, really Not yet. But all then you, but quick. after that. To really good at, you got to murder the friends and people you may know of their friends. <laughs> She's you know? not on Facebook. I'm like the trouble. suggested follows on Twitter. You got to get them. 